Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. So, today's pour is um, not something I've done before. Um, I was just experimenting and um, thought that we could give this a go. So, um, I've been trying to do the the Tammy Anderson, um, follow Tammy Anderson's um, tutorial on doing the bloom technique. And she did a really great video. Um, and there's nothing wrong with the recipe or anything like that that she shared. It's just that I cannot manage to get enough of the pillow paint off of the canvas so that when it dries, it doesn't crack. Um, I think I've done two that hasn't cracked. All the other ones have cracked. And every time I try to get um, all the extra pillow paint off, then my flower is messed up and it's not very pretty. So, I just kind of got frustrated, but I had all these products and I was like, well, I still want to use them, so I'm going to try and do something else. So, this is more of the Dutch pour style. But what I did first was I prepped my canvas by just painting it with an acrylic paint. Um, I think I used white from the fine touch or something like that. I just painted um, the canvas. And then I poured Floetrol on it. I flooded it with Floetrol. I put a little bit of water in the Floetrol to um, kind of loosen it up. But nothing significant. And then I took the pour medium that Tammy Anderson shared in her video which is a, like a one-to-one -one ratio of the Minwax Polycrylic I use semi-gloss and then the Cheryl Williams Infinity um, Base C I mix those one-to-one -one. and I used that as my pour medium and I just mixed mica pigments in it and so that was my paint. It was mica pigments that I got from Arteza. Um, there's, I have a whole bunch of mica pigments. Um, but I've been using the ones from Arteza just because they're new for me. And I was excited to use them. But um, other mica pigments will work too. Um, I think Jacquard. I got some from Jacquard. And some from Art Pour or something like that. Um, Pour Magic. Is that what it, that paint pouring line? So, then I took and just used my blow dry. blew them out in a Dutch Pour style. Um, you see me put some more um, Floetrol down. To kind of like push the micas and stuff. And then I used um, the cell activator. Which is Floetrol. The Minwax um, um, wood conditioner and glue all, and I I mix that with the golden titanium white paint, and then I put that down. So I did get lacing and like cells and stuff like you would get in the bloom technique. Um, they just weren't as intense, but um, I did get did get some sales on this and I did this piece a couple of weeks ago but I wanted it to dry and be sure that it was something that you could that would dry and be attractive like it's not gonna crack and stuff and I didn't have any trouble with cracking the flow trial will dry clear so um it basically disappears and that's why I went ahead and prepped the canvas with a color, um, you know, with an acrylic paint so that the canvas isn't just showing. And I've, did, I've done this um, technique a couple of times. And one time I painted the canvas thalo green and it came out really nice. You have to be mindful. I painted the canvas thalo green and I painted one canvas gray like a neutral gray and then I painted the other canvas like a metallic um those masterminds the 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 green one the pretty green one um that looks kind of like peridot I painted it that color the thing is you have to give mine to the colors that you're layering on top of it because you can't see once you put that flow chart down it's white 
but you have to keep in mind that the flow chart dries clear. So the colors that you're using um, in your mica powder colors, you can do this with paint too. Um, but you have to be mindful of the color of the canvas, may, you know, for them to look nice. They have to be complementary or whatnot to the color that you pick for your canvas. And um, I want to do one um, on a black canvas. And I think that's going to look really, really nice. So, um, yeah, that is, it's just like another level of what you have to be considerate of whenever you're doing um, your paint pour, but, um, yeah, it came out really cool, I'm so in love with this piece, I've, it since dried, it dried beautifully, I put a resin on it, y'all, it was, it's just like liquid metallics going over the canvas, it's so nice, but that right there, what I just put down, that was the cell activator, so, I just kind of like mushed all these techniques together and was just kind of like, oh, okay, uh, let's see what happens. And this is what happened. Um, yeah, it came out really, really, really nice. And you can see some of the cells um, that um, formed from that cell activator. It's not crazy. And this is not, um, this isn't even reminiscent of the bloom technique obviously because there's nothing about this the layout of how I put this down um it's not in puddles or anything like this this is very much a dutch pour kind of style but the pour mediums that I use Tammy Anderson uses and I have I've gotten good um blooms like you will get blooms you will get cells like they're so pretty um I just, if I don't put enough of the pillow paint down, then they don't form. But then if I don't get enough of it off, then they crack. And it's like I can't ever get it just right um, repeatedly. Like, I've gotten it right a couple of times, but it will seem more like out of luck than anything. Um, yeah, so I want to continue to prove in that on the bloom technique i've got the products and stuff to do it but i was just getting frustrated because like i'm trying to create something and i fail over and over and over and i'm not creating anything so i have nothing i have no product um from my hard work so i was just kind of like well let me try to do something else for a little bit and um then i'll go back and practice the bloom technique um some more so yeah, we're not, we're not going to set it aside. We're still going to um, work and play with it and whatnot. It's just, we, I got to, I had to take a breather from it is all. Um, but I really love how this piece come out. It made me so happy. And I can't wait to show you guys the dried piece with the resin. And I've been doing resin wrong, y'all. I thought I have to like layer it up. No, you can just put like, I saw on the TikTok, you can just like put a thin layer of resin on it and you still get those um effects where the metallics just like sparkle. It's so beautiful, y'all. It's so beautiful. This is one more thing I don't need to get into because my crafting budget is already maxed. <laughs> don't need to get into more resin. Um, but you can see, see, there's some lace. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, I'm so proud of it. Um, so this is the wet piece. And now this is how it looks dried. Oh, that's my favorite spot right there. It's so pretty. Oh, I just love it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and um hope you're staying healthy and safe and i will speak with you all very soon bye